Hi, it's Richard from VR Apartments. Today we're going to be talking about the history of the company actually. You know, VR Apartments was designed, VR retail spaces, VR office spaces, these are other pages that I have advertised in my bio. Just as I want to create a marketplace where all the listings on the site, on the YouTube channels are VR for people to plug their phones into a either a cardboard VR headset or more expensive VR headsets, wear it and view real estate from the convenience of their own homes. You know, once you once you play around with VR, I'm sure you'll fall in love with it. It's a great tool, marketing tool for real estate agents. Back in March or April when the coronavirus had hit it was, you know, devastate had devastating consequences for a lot of people, including myself. I used to be a technology recruiter in a, in a in a recruitment firm, and my job was to hire JavaScript engineers, software engineers, so that would uh, front end and back end work, and app developers, iOS and Android. So when COVID hit, our uh, CEO of the company had to let us all work from home for a week. And at the end of that week, they, they all let us stay furloughed, you know, like two thirds of the staff. It was, uh, uh, I was now beginning to like the firm and, and, and my colleagues and you know, thought I could build a good business for myself in the recruitment sector, and especially in technology, technology is hot, but uh, things didn't work out, you know, and I decided, you know, I would, I would uh, look for a job, but then the job search was hard, but and I also had the idea that, you know, now would be a good time to launch VR apartments and see if I could build a business. Now there's a, a virus going around, uh, brokers could uh, use this technology to avoid coming into contact with tenants that uh, some of them would just waste your time. You know, that's just the reality. You go to a showing, 30 people come in or at different times and you're scheduling all these viewings with them. The right way to do the showing or, you know, the common sense way to go about it now is to uh, use a VR camera. And I'm going to go give a review on two cameras right now that you could use to, to save yourself time and money. Time and money is the same thing. But uh, so we'll, we'll jump right into it. When I first started the company in 2015, um, and we'll go into why, you know, I had drafted this company in 2015 but it didn't come into effect until covid because i wanted to be i went to college to become an actuary and uh then when that industry is being taken over by artificial intelligence uh, i decided maybe i should go into the ai sector to be a data scientist and even that's just you know both sides are becoming oversaturated with people like there's there's so many people wanting those high paying stable jobs with with growth that uh you know it's hard it's hard to compete with people there but i thought you know not that many people are doing vr in real estate or maybe there's a lot of people doing it but not that successful i've uh, met with people before in the past and i know their business is going nowhere just by looking at their youtube channels the instagram pages and and websites it's just uh you know you're, you're saying you're gonna do vr in real estate and go ahead and do it why aren't you why aren't they, you know i measure your success by the amount of listings on your page and I'm not seeing enough of it. So that's why I said I'm going to enter and uh, do a good job. Um, I first started using 360 camera. This is a fly 4K camera and it takes pictures as well as videos of everything around this camera, except for like in the video uh, picture, it's a, there's a, there's a little hole on the bottom and you could put your company logo there. So you could either hold this, uh, use a tripod and when you stick it on the tripod um, and hold this and walk around the apartment. I'm going to screw this thing onto here, right? You could get a smaller selfie stick, walk around with it and just videotape the apartment. If you hold it right next to your chest like this, you're in the video and everything around you is being seen. And uh, the problem with this though, is that when you use a, uh, spatial metadata to to uh, to tether the file and put it on YouTube the images came out curvy so I didn't like it that much and you're in the video 
if you're comfortable being in the video, great, use a 360 camera. But you could also mount this somewhere on the floor of the apartment in every room and take a photo of everything, right? It's a 360 photo, everything you could click and drag around on the screen or just move your screen around and you will see everything in that room. It's way better than 2D photography. You know, this shoots in 4K, takes cameras in ultra high resolution, so it uh, does the job. But here's the problem. The brokerage firms, uh, websites, and a lot of other listing sites, you know, don't have the technology within their own website to host 360 and 180 photos. So that was an immediate indicator for me to say, hey, I'm gonna enter this market and maybe make my website up to date, you know, with the, with the right software requirements to, to host 360 and 180 photos. But then why would anyone care about looking at the photos when they could just look at the, the, the listings presentation? Maybe they would look at the living room, bathroom, kitchen separately and uh, look at the video tour afterwards. But getting this video tour, I feel like a lot of agents aren't aren't getting up to par with using these cameras to 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 work it. So uh, I myself too wasn't feeling comfortable being in the video. So I started looking for other cameras, and I came across the Lenovo Mirage with Google Daydream. This is an awesome little friend you could carry. Comes in this little pouch. You could put this in your blazer's pocket, and you'd be fine. You know, every listing you go to, just whip it out take a video of it and it's great. This is so easy to use. It costs $200. So every real estate agent should have one of these or, hey, the point of me making this video is to let you know, you should go out and buy, tinker with, see what's the best VR camera that you could use. It could either be a 360 camera like this one or try 180. With 180, you could also take photos on this thing and it has an app feature where you could convert it into a 3D photo to put a post on Instagram. So it's really, really useful. So I went around in, in April, let me go back to the story of the, the legend of VR apartments, right? I went around and emailed about 2000 agents back in May and April and about less than 10 agents came to me and said, wow, those videos look amazing. Actually it was about 15 agents, but about 10, uh, under 10 of them started paying me, you know, around, uh, around a couple hundred bucks to take video tours of their apartment. So I was like, yes, I have a job now. I'm the founder of a company, you know, and I incorporated it too, cause I was like, you know, this is making money. But then I was like, you know, the most you're gonna make as a videographer in New York City, I looked on Glassdoor and it was like, you know, 72K, that's not gonna satisfy me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be rolling around the city, going to brokers saying, hey, let me take videos of your listings forever. You know, I'm, uh, I could do a little bit more, more than that. So I decided to join a brokerage firm team at Douglas Elliman and I want to you know sell properties also and maybe try and incorporate the technology that I'm talking to you about here but also why stop at at residential apartments or houses co-ops condos I could do commercial real estate and I have I've done uh, office space in the Diamond District I've done retail space out in uh, a Park Avenue and 72nd, East 72nd Street, some ground floor medical office for doctors. So I, I would like to continue my work, but in a different format. This is this is a news uh, section. This is a news um, industry, news media company. And we're going to be talking about how VR is transforming the real estate industry and other industries and Anything hot topic news about VR is going to be put on this channel. So tune in for more. Um, and I'm, I'm uh, going to be hosting other agents, other companies, other VR startups to see what's going on in the industry. And we're, we're going to have a blast learning about the fourth industrial revolution. So tune in for more and uh, like, comment, share. Would love to hear what your thoughts are on the show and uh, what, what you want to hear more of in the future. You are my audience and I want to know what you want to see more of so that I post it and you like it because I'm seeing a difference in the uh, the amount of followers I'm going uh, that I have has been going up generally, but uh, has also came down up and down a, not a notch. Why are you want, want to know with the people that have followed me uh, how to keep you, you know, you don't have to go and, and unfollow in the future. Thanks.